Pentagon successfully tests micro drone swarm. The Pentagon may soon be unleashing a 21st century version of locusts on its adversaries after officials on Monday said it had successfully tested a swarm of 103 micro drones. The important step in the development of new autonomous weapon systems was made possible by improvements in artificial intelligence, holding open the possibility that groups of small military strategists have high hopes for such drone swarms that are cheap to produce and able to overwhelm opponents' defenses with their great numbers. The test of the drone swarm is a very micro drones measuring 5, 6, 4, 6 centimeters, launched from 3F A18 Super Fighter Jets, the Pentagon said in a statement. The micro drones demonstrated advanced swarm behaviors such as collective decision making, adaptive formation flying, and self healing, it said. Beardics are not pre programmed synchronized individuals, they are a collective organism, sharing one distributed brain for decision making and adaptive so, so, three, like swarms in complete. said William Roper, director of the Pentagon's Strategic Capabilities Office. Because every Pyrdix communicates and collaborates with every other Pyrdix, the swarm has no leader and can gracefully adapt to drones entering or exiting the team. Defense Secretary Ash Carter a technophile and former Harvard professor created the SCO when he was Deputy Defense Secretary in 2012. The department is tasked with accelerating the integration of technological innovations into the U.S. weaponry. It particularly strives to marry already existing commercial technology in this case micro drones and artificial intelligence software in the design of new weapons. Originally created by engineering students from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 2013 and continuously improved since, Pyrdix drones draw inspiration from the commercial smartphone industry, the Pentagon said. Thanks for watching video subscribe for more.